greetings and welcome to episode 68 of my Empire Total War Darth Mod Great Britain campaign. This, my friends, how we left it last time, where we had a terrific battle, a terrific battle around Turin. Before, just before we get into it a bit more, my friends, I apologise for the lack of um, uh, videos and episodes uh, over the last couple of days. I've been a little bit ill, my friends, over the last couple of days. My voice, as you may see, my sound is a little bit heavy at the moment. I've had a bit of the lurgy, nothing, nothing too serious, but just just been there in the background, my friends. But I do apologise for that. But anyway, back into here now. As you can see, we what a fight this was around Turin, and the Spanish brought in a huge amount of their forces here to try and sort of dislodge us here from our siege of Turin, to give us that foothold in sort of northern Spain, uh, in northern Italy, where the Spanish really have a massive hold over, a really strong hold. But we've broken them, as you can see here. The armies now are dispersed. This army is the remnants of one of their finest armies they had at their disposal. This also is another army here, Genoa. That they had here. Look at that. We've absolutely given them a sound thrashing. This is all that's left of the garrison, and that includes Swiss Guards, who have been absolutely eliminated. They really have taken a severe beating. Now, of course, we can move in here and re and take Turin. It'll be our base of operations here for the foreseeable future in the north. But I think Genoa will probably be a more complex operation because, of course, you can see it's got full fortifications as well around it. So that's going to be a difficult, difficult time. Milan, not so much. Milan is open now for us to take. Probably moving forces here, as you can see, they've still got strong forces. We mustn't underestimate the Spanish. Just because we've broken them here doesn't mean there'll be a walkover, because they still do have very strong forces down here in the south. If it's a look at that, that's a terrific army here. It really is. A lot of them, as you can see, are packing quite a punch. So not perhaps this one here, but the garrison, I believe, is well fortified, as you can see here, including the absolute dreaded mortar, which is our our mortal enemy. They've also got some 32 pounders here as well, so they're not messing about at all, the Spanish, but we ourselves are also not without our own, look at that, our own wonderful forces here. Yes. We've brought a good complement of troops here away from Egypt across the Mediterranean, and we've lodged ourselves in Naples. If they want to take Naples, it will cost them dear, if not all their armies, but our primary goal, our primary focus must be the north here we must capture the north we're also going to remove the last remnants here of the spanish forces that have pretty much been thrown in our side and these were the forces that instigated our move into the north here we had to stop this constant movement of spanish forces from the north of italy using and moving through past mountain range here across the sort of the Medi this mediterranean sort of coastline here moving through Marseille and then up through here the Marseille sort of Paris road as it were all the way through here through Dijon through Lyon all the way here into Paris and as you can see now we've got a formidable force here now waiting we are actually moving we're going to move this additional force here which is now fully replenished and does contain a good number of Irish volunteers which the council did want us to, to put in there as well including green jackets and also some Royal British some Royal British Grenadier Guards Good line infantry, good complement of carriers, and a very heavy complement here of artillery. Our fire support has been absolutely critical here in our battles because at one point, although we have carved out quite the empire for ourselves here in Central and, and Western Europe, at one point we had very, very little at our disposal. It was a, it really was a significant operation to move from here all the way to here, but we've done it, my friends, and now we've carved out quite the empire for ourselves. Now, of course, we haven't had any, any movement at all from the Spanish here, but look at the Spanish capital here, Madrid. It's got nothing in it at all. Now, the council, some of the council saying, Mala, be careful, because you don't want to sort of step on the Spanish toes when they've got these forces here. Look at that. Even the Walloon Guards, which really are absolutely, possibly one of the finest regiments in the entire world. And then, of course, you've got this f fleet here with a full complement army here on this ship. So we don't know what's on there, but I'd imagine... It's quite a strong army, and again, as you can see, they're not messing about here, the Spanish, at all. If we were to take Madrid with one army, we would have probably three, at least three or four armies upon us pretty quickly. That includes Morocco and Gibraltar as well, and they've got Algiers, and they've also got Tunis and Calgary. Um, we've also got, they've also got Tripoli, so again, the Spanish Empire is still mighty here, so we don't want to overstep the mark, we're just going to focus here. So our next task is to take... Turin, so the base of operations. So I think what we might do is we might just pull Fjallarsmo 
Field Marshal Ernuk's army away here, replenish it, rep repair it, and then bring it, and then move this army here, which really did still bear quite a brunt of the attack, but it's, it's still in fine fettle here. The Marines, as you can see, it did take quite a beating here, and also them the artillery, but still, General Charles did a wonderful job there. And also here, General Lincoln. It's got this army fully intact, apart from these Swiss Grenadiers here, which did take a little bit of damage, and also some of these, obviously these here, but the majority of the forces are in good stead. It was a brutal fight, it really, really was. Now, how many? We've got three. We might just wait for them to surrender and build our, build our forces up here. We've got 57,000 in the bank, so we're going to let our bank build up here quite significantly. We're going to try to get 100,000 in reserve here, so we're going to replenish these armies here. Yep. And we're hopefully going to bring another army in as well. Settlement besieged. Oh, seven. Look at that. Nearly 8,000 in. My goodness me. That's going to cost us an arm and leg. I think we might just pull this army Play back here. And then we're just going to, I think we'll Ready, pull, push this army here. Rolled. Let's just take them off. Let's move them. No, they're not going to. So we'll just maintain the siege. But we, we need to get this army here under... under. Because I, I imagine the Spanish are going to probably attack us again. Now let's get this army here. Right, let's hope that's settled out. We're also going to move this army here. And we do have this army, which is almost replenishing. We had a, a, a fight against this army here, which did draw in... Significant about number of four. Look at that. These, oh my goodness me, the fights we've had with the Spanish have been brutal. I think we'll move this army down though. We'll start moving this army here down into Turin. I was thinking about possibly going via the Gibraltar Straits, but they, the Spanish will probably have that sealed off with ships. And we, we want to keep our fleets pretty well intact here. We've got the Polish here, but we're at peace with Poland. But again, we're not going to take our, our sights off them at all. But I think we'll start moving this force down. Perhaps trying to buy, we can't bypass because they control the bridge crossing here. But we probably might move down to here. I think that'll probably be our best bet. And move it down to here and start this army on its march to reinforce Turin. And also, the council saying if they move these forces up to try and reclaim the north, then we can move these forces in and take Rome. Once we've got Rome, we'll have established a huge presence here. And having the production center of Rome under our control will be absolutely huge in the grand scheme of our campaign to retake it or to take Italy for the Empire now we don't we have peace here with Poland thankfully we're allied with Sweden who have been holding their end of the bargain here we've got good trade here coming flowing through with Poland as you can see here so we've got trade with them at least I'm not sure how our dipl diplomacy is doing with Poland. It's unfriendly, but it's not bad. With Spain and Russia, of course, we're at war with Russia. But Russia has been pretty quiet at the moment, but again, we've just got to be alert here because they've still got... Actually, they don't have any forces down here at all, so we might be able to take... Let's quickly look the past... The night is my friend. They've got nothing in Damascus or Jerusalem at all. I tingle with anticipation. Let's move down a little bit further into the Middle East and let's see what's going on. Without delay. Let's try and get out as much intelligence operation as we can here. They've got Sir? nothing down here at all, so these would be prime targets for us. We might be able to even move here, but we've got to watch out for Spain. Spain has got an army here, as you can see, and they're quite clearly moving towards Cairo, but I don't think Cairo's under a threat from this cab effectively a cavalry army uh, they've got no guns at all we are also raiding the, the trade lines here with spain so spain's trade lines are being raided by ourselves they haven't moved against us yet because it's a very powerful fleet indeed as you can see but this probably doesn't know that is ah, it's a first rate ship of the line it's not a heavy first rate but we've got a very powerful fleet here indeed so they may not cross us there we're at peace with Poland, thankfully, because Poland really is a titan as well. I mean, they really have been a very difficult foe indeed, but we've managed to bring them under peaceful intent here. And Spain still controls also a swathe of the Caribbean, Antigua, Santo Domingo, and Cuba. This sort of spine here of the, of the Caribbean. We do have... Oh, sorry, say the, the US does have this 
a fleet here, small fleet. I'm not sure if they're at war with... They very well actually were allied with them, so... Yeah, they are at war with Spain, and they're also at war with Russia. I'm not sure they're going to come across and help us, because they've, I think they've got their own problems. But I think they're moving against the Cherokees, and also they're moving against the Iroquois as well. So, they've got their own own things to deal with here, the, the US. As you can see, they've also got a heavy battle here against Quebec. And look at Quebec, they've got some fantastic troops, what the US got here. They've got Republican Guards, 24 pounders as well. Oh, look at that, African infantry, uh, American uh, mercenaries. And they've also started to get now some Marines in here as well, but it looks like Quebec is really is at the top of their game here. They've got some very, very nice troops indeed. Let's hope they can hold on here. We do have Arcadia under our control, but we've sort of left it to its own devices, as it were, because it's now we're allied with the United States. And we've also got Newfoundland, but we do have an army here as well. And actually, that's still replenishing. I think we took Newfoundland after a very, very brutal fight. We've got trade coming in, quite nice trade here as well. But we've got positive trade with the United States as well. So hopefully they can continue expanding and growing because we need a very powerful ally in the Americas. Now, I think we've done all we can do here. We've got a very strong fleets here in the English Channel. As you can see, very, very... Look at that, steamships as well. What a wonder. Look at that, we've got a victory as well. My goodness me, what a wonder to see that. Absolutely wonderful. And we've also got additional fleets here being put together. Norfolk and also got Lord Admiral Kavanagh. He's only a fourth-rate ship of the line, but we'll keep him because it's he is an exceptional admiral. 75 years old. Look at all the look at all the traits. Wonderful. And we're also putting together another army here outside London, but just keeping things under control here. Now, I think we can probably end this turn here. We don't have anything else to do. We'll see what Spain's response is to this. Hopefully we can start building up our bank a little bit if we have to spend some money here. But that's... We, you know, we owed the armies that fought here that to get them back into shape as quickly as possible. The other army moving down, they'll cross here at the bridge just west of Marseille and then move in, perhaps taking this army out as they go along and then rejoining, connecting here with this this army group in Turin here at the moment we can't we're not going to abandon Naples because we we've, we've pinned down these four or five armies that would otherwise be freed up to move against them this sort of this army group here which is taking quite the battering it really has but I don't think I think we sort of sap the strength the immediate strength here of the of the Spanish here let's end the turn let's see what happens here I've got a spy moving into... Oh, oh, oh. I think we'll just... Yeah, I think even though we'll take some casuals here, we'll just... We yeah, we, that's not too bad at all. But we... I think we've pretty much... No, we haven't. We will, we will deal with them. Ah, oh, looks like they're... Now, they might start... Re yeah, they are going to start building a new army here to try and move against us. As you can see here, these small regiments have suddenly appeared. They're going to start building another army here. And they're going to recon... Oh, look at that. They're reconstituting all their armies here. Are they going to pull out of here? No, they're not. They're going to keep on raiding us behind the lines. That's absolutely fine. We can, can expect that. We are... We are well dug in here. Yeah, they're moving. They're pulling out. Yes. They're pulling out of here. Which means we can move these two armies... These three... We can move another army group into there. We've got to clear out this Spanish sort of a nest here in the north of Italy. Looks like Poland is just moving about its forces. We've got to keep an eye on Poland as well. We've just got to watch what we're doing. Because as our strength grows, the old three will feel more threatened. And they might start to move against us here. That's why we've, con that's why we've held a quite a large contingent of forces along the Polish and British borders. Just got to watch what's going on here. Let's see what Poland is up to. I'm not sure Russia is. We're at war with Russia, but they have been sort of pushed back. 
cold and taking its time here. Obviously, assessing what it needs to do here. But look at them, the troops they got up around Vienna. My goodness me, that's ex imagine the battle for Vienna. It'll be just a brute. And it will need brute strength to break that force, because that's a ga that's a garrison and a half they've got there. Remember, they also can control a good number of production centers. So they're able to really put a huge number of troops into, into the field very, very quickly indeed. Nothing silly now, Poland. But jiggery pokery here. But I think I think they're just going to hold off for the moment. But I wouldn't be surprised if they see us moving against Spain too aggressively. They might change all to their plans. Let's see what Russia does here. Russia's still got a huge expanse here. Look at that. They are the biggest nation in terms of landmass in the world at the moment. So, although we're at war with them, we mustn't sort of become complacent at all. Our armies are strong, but they're strong because we've got them concentrated in, in sort of a very small space. But here, they, oh Sweden, that's a, they're a wonderful ally. They really have been. They've ke they have kept. They've kept Russia at bay for us. It's okay. They're just moving through and doing their own thing here. Oh, look at that. They're attacking Russia. So they might take the... Looks like they're going to take that. Might take this back here. They did lose Sweden. So it looks like they're going to move and try and take it back here from Russia. As you can see, Russia took it from them. Courland. A significant fleet, but again, as long as they, as long as they just stay about. Oh, look, we go. Look at the U.S. My goodness me, they've got some armies now. Looks like they might be heading towards Quebec. Starting to flex their missiles a sub bit now. I think here. Is that a? F oh, look at that. Quebec. Quebec has really got some very strong armies as well. <laughs> Nothing here but... Ah, of course. That's fine. That's when the subterfuge. Here, excellent. Just yes, keeping an eye on things on. here. Let's just move slightly. No, actually, we'll keep we'll keep the spike. Do we do the spike here? Another mission. Looks like they're trying to reinforce these cities. They know what's coming. That they actually they, those are fresh arms. These are fresh forces. They're going to build another force here. You can just tell. But we're going to move these forces down here because they've moved, they've pulled out all in, in entirety here. Yes, we're at full strength here. We're at full strength. Let's get this army up and running here. And we can repair this. Ready and awaiting orders. <coughs> Excuse me, my friends. <coughs> Excuse me. My coughing, I thought that might start up when I was in the middle, so I do apologize for that. Now, I think we're going to move this army group down here. We don't want to get squashed in between these here and here. We need to, we're need. we probably going to clear out all these in one go. What we will do, though, is we'll move this army here, probably to Toulouse, just to keep an eye on the border here between ourselves and Spain. Sir? I send our spies here a little bit closer. Let's gather the intel we need. What I fear I cannot I obey. How can I be of service? By your leave, as it pleases you. Can I be of service without further delay? Nothing much in here. What do you require of me? As you desire. As it pleases you. I can go no further. Nothing here. We're just going to keep an eye on what's going on in Spain here. But I think. Ah, excellent. The theatre in Wittenberg. 
The problem with that are pleasure gardens just to bring things under full and control because you can see we've still got resistance to occupation here. So we do need to bring this. What will that give us? Plus five to happiness, plus two. No, that's excellent. That's what we need. Uh, oh, excellent. Look at that. Another ship ready to go. And additional artillery has been placed within here. That's a very strong force, my goodness me. Perhaps some additional... Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Now that's more like it. That's exactly what you want to see. We've got 80,000 in the bank now, 52,000 here. If we can get a good, solid bank built up here, it'll give us some protection just in case future events unfold. They're not favourable to us. But to that end, I think we'll move down this here. We'll take this fight here. We're going to remove these gentlemen here. And we'll move this gentleman down here as well. We don't want to get in the way here. What we'll do is move him to here to start with. We want this force to take the fight. Because we do have horse guards, plenty of cavalry, very lot of firepower. We might we might deal with these gentlemen here straight off the bat. Um, it's good to see these. Look at that, a full strength, my goodness me. And also here, we're just going to move these gentlemen in as well. Another army group moving into northern Italy here, which is de facto Spain. I think we will move against these here. You're humble, sir. Your Majesty? We can't do that. Sir. Your can't orders, do that, Your sir. Majesty. Them. We're gonna move against them next. We've got this being replenished and repaired here. Everything else I think is at full strength. We'll just make sure we've not left anything to his own devices as it were. No, everything's replenished and repaired here. Got a strong army here in Paris, which will not leave Paris. And we've also got ships here, which we can we move into the globe a little bit more. We can't move in here because we're, they're just too close to a lot of our enemies here. Poland has a sizable fleet there, my goodness me. No, we can't move into any of the trade, trade nodes at the moment. That's absolutely fine. I'm not expecting that. I think we're going to push. Let them come out towards us here. Hide behind women's skirts. And these are coming back to full strength as well, which is good to see. Your General Urnuk's force. I think General Urnuk General will not be back for a few more weeks yet. I feel Marshal Urnuk, should I say. Um, he really has taken quite a wound, which will take quite a number of weeks to at least... Your Majesty stabilize so we're not going to be pushing General Unuk back into the front line duty straight away although he has requested to do so straight away I think we're going to just gonna just going to order him to rest at the moment that that fight around Turin was pretty brutal now we, we know we've got we've got a spy here what we'll do we'll just move down into here and see what's going no on gathering the intel Desire. we need here for Mr Bishop Monton yes, changing position now it looks like Sweden are going to start moving against and perhaps taking, taking Stockholm. If they take Stockholm from the Russians, what a boom that would be. Because that would then bring a very good ally back up to full strength. I don't think we can do anything else, but I would like to move against. Ah, oh, look at that. As we start to speak against the yeah, Tigna Jerusalem, they start to reinforce. My eyes are yours. Keep an eye on this. This is a potential target of ours in the future because I think the Russians can probably see that Italy might fall to us. And if it does, well, then we've got an, a route into the Middle East because these forces here can then be freed up to operate elsewhere. And the weak underbelly of the Russian Empire is the Middle East here. I think that's going to probably be our goal ultimately. So we'd expand our, our, our reach. Well, let's end the turn. Anything else we can do here is that. Look at that, the Mughal Empire has got some raiding going on here. It's only 80% here, that's a wonder. What the blazes? Minus four, I think he can go. That's more like it. Thank you very much. The 
place is all that about. The constitutional monarchy, so we can't. We just. Yeah, that, that's a wonder. That's much more like it. 53,000 now. Wonderful. Now. Are all are ministers okay? All of them? Yeah, they're all excellent ministers. That's good. Particularly the treasury. Gregory Natick is all, it really is a fine chancellor. Now. Let's end the tour, my friends. Let's see what comes out of here. Or hopefully doesn't. Spain. Yeah, they, they're definitely gathering their forces here to do something. There it is. Now, f for some reason, we're getting this. I'm not sure how that's possible. Unless they can draw in other forces that we can't see what has happened before. But I think we will take this fight. Thankfully, Fiamarshal Lunak's army is at last to come in. But this army here is almost at full strength. But I think we'll take this fight here. Unless they're going to draw in other forces we can't see. That's going to be the critical issue here for us, I believe. It's going to be another. I mean, this. I think we're going to be in Italy for a good number of years, battling against the Spanish. They're not going to give up. Mind you, look at the hill we've got. Look at the overview. Wow, the topography here suits us perfectly. We could even. Oh my goodness me! Imagine retiring the the guns onto this hill here and firing down to the valley. Oh, what a wonder that would be! We've got to compose ourselves. We've got 120 men here. In this one regiment, which is just wonderful. Now, these two regiments, we've got some lances. All of these here are going to have to. No, we'd have the, we'd have the cuirassier. We'd have these gentlemen here. I mean, that's a magnificent sight. 120 men here. We'll have them on the left here, I think, to start with. And the we've got a town here. So the town is sort of going to be a very difficult for us to move from the right-hand side and flank around. Because it's going to break up any advance on this side. But I think we will still put these, these gentlemen here on the right, just in the trees. In case we are being deceived and there's other armies coming in we don't recognise. Or haven't seen on the map. Oh, it's going to be a brute. No, gentlemen, we want, we wanted, we wanted you over here. Thank you. I'm going to cough again. I do apologise, my friends. <coughs> I do apologise. Now, let's, let's put our guns here, because the guns are going to be critical here. Actually, these gentlemen here, are, oh, we've got 19 men there, my goodness me. Now, there's our guns there. Now, these are going to be really important, really important here. I think we might just put them here. Let's put these gentlemen back here. The general's been down to three. Three. Okay, we're going to we're gonna rely on our cavalry to do most of the damage, I think, and our artillery. Let's put these gentlemen back as well. Let's put them, we'll straddle. I'll actually put them on the hill here, because we are, thankfully, we are. Put them all in together. Because there's far more discipline over these gentlemen here. But here, we've got the Marines here. But look at that. We can put now some trenches in as well. That's wonderful. I set the Marines up here. 
mean, they're not at full strength either, but still. We've got to do what we can manage here. We've got 154, 26. I would put them on the right. Just working what we've got here. We do have reinforcements, thankfully. We've got 116 here, the 23rd of the Marines. Again, involved in the brutal fighting there around Turin, and still are. Now, that's quite a gap there between those gentlemen here, but we we'll just move them a fraction in here. No, a little bit too much. It's more like it. Okay, keeping it compact. We really are struggling for the forces here at the moment. We'll just have to use what we've got. What we will do is I think we'll take these gentlemen here together and sort of try and combine the lines as it were. Working with what we've got here. And these gentlemen here. On the flank here. With the Marines. That's all we've got in terms of defence. Oh, we do we have 146 here. I think we'll put on the right here because we're going to be pretty hit pretty hard. I think on the right, on the left, I beg your pardon. And that's that. That's a that's a pretty solid defence. We'll keep the general here. We've only got three three left here, including the general himself. My goodness me, what a battle that was! We've got the cavalry here, just in case we get flanked. And we've got our main strike force, as it were, mobile force here. The 13th Cross here. Guards. I think that's all we've got at the moment. Let's begin. Excellent. Where are they? Here they come. Ah, General Lincoln. And the Swiss Grenadiers as well. So these are the gentlemen who were fighting. This is these, these, my goodness me, all our forces have been so... Wow. deal with those scouts here let's let's flank what we don't want is we don't want these gentlemen here to get involved in the fight keep these intact as best we can here what are we dealing with here oh gosh 297 let's see if we can catch them on the hop here Now, let's move these gentlemen here around and strike them in the flank. Right, let's try and get the Swiss guards up here if we can. I think we'll do with this gun, these guns here. Oh my gosh, they've been at look at that. It's the artillery that really have been the absolute at the forefront here.
let's clear the back lines here. Actually, this is funneled them. This is funneled them into one particular look at this. All this is funneled them is split them in half. Get them, lads. Get them. The stakes here. Okay, they come back. Take out the Swiss guards. Come on, lads. Oh, look at that. They're gone. They don't have it in them. They don't have it in them. That's it. Destroy them entirely, please. Thank you, gentlemen. Me. I think we've, we've effectively broken the Spanish here in the north. We must have. Come on, gentlemen. Let's move it now. The places is going on here. Single file move, lads. Oh, they threaded the needle beautifully there. We're going to continue the battle. Let's combine all our power. Oh, let's get them. Get that garrison. Let's get them. Sight. What the place is you up to? What the place is going on here? Back in the lines, people. Follow your orders. Thank you. We've got them recorded now. Trapped. They will make. They will make. There's no, they can't make the border here, surely. Come on, gentlemen, put them to the sword here, for goodness sakes. Magnificent job there. Speak things up. Leave it. Yes. The 
Let's get them because the, the this what it is. It's the this, the geography here of the map is for the battlefield is really putting in. They've gone. They've gone. They've gone. Oh look at that! Now we've got them in the open. Yes. What a wonder. Look at that. We lost 24 men. They lost all their men. Statistics. Look at that. 24 pounds. 192 killed. Wow. Is it ours? Is it ours now? It should be. Still a sizable force there. Spain moving up a bit more here. What? Oh, look at that. They're trying to move past us again. They've moved past us. With that army that's been intact, we'll have to take the fight there. We'll have to take that fight. The definite. Poland, what will Poland do? Hopefully mind their own business. Hopefully mind their own business. to take that that we've got to move against that army that was just bypass us because they're going to go straight for Paris but mind you the Paris can deal with itself but what we'll do is we'll move two of the armies in and we'll send another army to deal with that one escaped us we're going to reinforce Turin Poland still fortifying a significant number of their cities but also just moving the troops around here nothing too fancy just yet but Russia what will Russia do nothing yet and Russia looking to to move in and steal things only yes they are indeed Hopefully, Sweden can retake Stockholm. Oh, what's the heck of a fight going on there? Have they retaken it? If I'm not mistaken, have they retaken it? Wow, that'd be fantastic if they retaken it. No, they haven't, because we've still got the Russian flag here on the port. Call and the United States, what they, are they? They really are enforcing the border here with Canada. Because there's going to be a huge push by the United States here. States has moved across. They've moved across. Ooh. There's going to be a terrific battle here between Canada and the United States. There really is. 
pirates. We just leave the tree line. Of course, we've got to straight the tree lines here. Hopefully, Poland will deal with them. That's fine here, that port there. That's fine, trading port. That's fine. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, they've combined the two armies together. What have they got, though? They've only got three guns, four, five guns. But they're not at full strength. Which aren't, this army would probably be better suited to deal with them, I think. But it's only got one cavalry. Yes, sir. Perhaps this army would be better. Be I think this army would be better placed, probably, to deal with them. Sir. No, this army here, for definite, is much better. Much better has a better Lord? distribution of units here that can deal with this army directly, I think. The rest will be moving in, so we're going to move in here. Okay, with these armies. These armies are going to move in. We're going to sort of s put a barrier between ourselves and the rest of these Spanish armies here. Especially with this Fusilier and Grenadier Any army. More? We're going to move this Any army in as well. Orders. Just going to try and seal off some of this. Forward. Give ourselves that, that space. I think we probably can probably move in here. Besieged. I shall wait for them to come out to us. They, they'll do that again. This army is out of full strength. That's a wonder. And yeah. so is remnants of Field Marshal Arnold's force. Oh, the Cherokees have gone. Wow. And the United States have taken the Cherokees, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, indeed. Ah, Louisiana have taken them. And Louisiana hold quite a lot of power, power here in the southern states. That's been a terrific battle up here. There really has. It's taken quite a bit out of the Quebec, Quebecian forces. Got our own ship here, just keep an eye on what's going on along here. We've got. We're okay at the moment, we're just gonna keep ourselves to ourselves here. We're not gonna get involved in any shenanigans there in the Americas just yet. Have they? No, they haven't retaken it. That's a shame. I was hoping they'd be able to retake this. The trade is flowing here, look at that. Look at Poland, 60,000 there, the trade going in and out of Memel. That's a significant amount of. Oh, 130,000. 130,000 gold in the bank. That's exactly what we need here. We've got to build this up, this bank here. But we're going to deal with these gentlemen here first. We haven't sent in a full complement of an army group just yet because we've got to deal with this Spanish force here, which we're going to move against now. Thankfully, they're not at full strength, but... And they haven't moved against us here either because I think they, I think they know Sir. if they do, it'll be a probably... It'll probably spell doom for all these, but eventually they will be attacked. And what about down here in Russia? Russians held. They've not put anything else in here at all. No, they haven't. But we do have a strong army here if need be to move against them. They're sending in here. Looks like they're reinforcing. But I think, my friends, our final act will be to move against these gentlemen here. There it is. 2020. What have they got here? They got a f the Grenadiers are at full strength. Actually, everything bar a few others are at full strength. They're not at full strength. The general's unit isn't. These, the many, most of the cavalry isn't. But everything else is almost at full strength, if I'm not mistaken. So they have replenished quite a bit of these forces, but they're up against <clears throat> a very, very powerful army here. Lots of cross here. Lots of cannon. The, cannon. the firepower here is going to be absolutely key to the battle. And plenty of infantry which is what we need to see. But my friends, this is going to be a battle for next episode. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. It really has been a, a fantastic episode. We've pushed against Turin. We're not quite taking it just yet. We want to move in the forces here so that when we do move against the rest of the Spanish assets in Northern Italy, we take them in one go, which we will be doing, my friends. Especially now that we've replenished, replenished and repaired. But hope you've enjoyed this episode, my friends. As always, please keep your comments coming down below. Excuse for the coughing during this episode. I do apologise, my friends. Um, as always, please be safe, my friends. And until next, and also, also, thank you for your wonderful advice and comments from the last episode. Fantastic, they really have been. But until next time, my friends, bye for now.